on our quarter results, um, uh, I'm pleased to say uh, that uh, we see uh, see healthy demand uh, for uh, primary aluminium in the uh, in uh, globally, uh, and that is impacting our upstream results uh, positively this quarter. However, as you said, the downstream, and that is especially in, in Europe and Northern Europe and North America, we still see weak demand, uh, and that is taking down our results in the downstream uh, segments uh, this quarter. Let's talk about downstream demand, because in February, your company warned that the construction sector in Europe is suffering from a demand slump, and this is important, that was similar to the one that we saw during COVID. Is it still that pronounced, or... Are you seeing any green shoots here? Is the outlook somewhat more rosy than what you were able to give us back in February? No, so we still see a, a very weak uh, building and construction market, especially in Europe and, and especially in Northern Europe and, and Germany. And, uh, and I think uh, this is uh, impacted by, by the still high interest rates. And, and we probably need to see lower interest rates before we see uh, improvements in the building and, and construction market. That, and that is impacting our extrusion operations, especially Europe again, but also lower demand in, in North America with the, with the current market situation. Trond Olaf, you say you need lower interest rates. Well, the ECB cut, and it's probably going to cut again. Isn't that enough? Do you need, let's say, 100 basis points of cuts? What, what kind of sentiment shift do you need in the European markets? Is it really just the interest rate cuts, or is it sort of a, a story of bigger, let's say, deindustrialization and bigger depression of the European markets? Well, I think the, uh, the billion construction market is especially important for our extrusions business, uh, roughly 50% of the market. And, and we will see a recovery over time in the billion construction market. Uh, uh, the, the first cut will probably help, but it will take some time before we see that out in the market. And, and at least we're not uh, seeing further falls in, in demand for, for, uh, for billion construction market. It's, uh, it has flattened out, uh, but with further interest cuts, we should see improvements over time. All right, let's talk about the broader competitiveness of the aluminum market. Um, obviously, it's been hit very hard by the very high energy costs um, over the last couple of years. Those costs, they've obviously come down. At the same time, your industry is under tremendous pressure to decarbonize. Where are you on that? So um, energy has been especially difficult in, in Europe after Russia attacked uh, Ukraine with the very high energy prices. We still have uh, higher energy prices uh, in Europe compared to the situation before, um, but it has improved significantly over the last, the last year or so. Uh, on decarbonization, we have a very ambitious decarbonization roadmap uh, in Hydro, and we are executing uh, on this program. Uh, this quarter, we have uh, we are in the midst of, of uh, fuel switch in, in Brazil, where we will take out uh, burning of fuel oil and switch to natural gas, and also use more renewable energy, and that will take down our CO2 emissions significantly uh, throughout this year.